Well, when that repair work started this week, we learned that it's right at Baseball Alley, one of our city's short little cut throughs between 5th and 6th streets. Baseball Alley? Well, what a great name. Louisville's got a lot of alleyways, as you know, but this one raised my curiosity. I had to know where did that name come from and why? Today I found out. Baseball Alley between 5th and 6th Street, south of Broadway. The name a throwback to the favorite summer pastime of Louisvillians at the turn of the century. What's left of Baseball Alley today is short and about a home run hit to reach downtown Louisville from it. The alley was the connector to the Eclipse Park baseball field at a time when Louisville had baseball parks all over the place. And we were then a town of baseball, bourbon, riverboats, and trains. So how did you get to Eclipse Field? Well, you got off the trolley right here on 4th at Memorial Auditorium, and then you walked Baseball Alley three blocks to the west. That's when you saw it. Eclipse Park was established at the northwest corner of 7th in Kentucky in 1902. The park seated 8,500 people. It was built as the home for the American Association Minor League Louisville Colonels, who played there from 1902 through 1922. So what happened to it? Eclipse Park lasted only 20 years at this location. It burned to the ground in 1922. And today at 7th in Kentucky, homes are standing. Baseball's brief time near downtown had ended and would not return until Louisville Slugger Field opened in the year 2000. And our proud baseball tradition continues. Well, Eclipse Park had a cursed history, we learned. The one that burned at 7th in Kentucky was there because the other two Eclipse Parks, by the same name in Louisville, also burned right to the ground. The first one at 28th and Elliott was lost in 1871. The second one at 28th and Broadway burned in 1892. No wonder we have such a legendary fire department in our city.